This is the context model B. The first context was made in around 1945 or 1946 by the Carlson brothers in Denmark. They, that was the model A and they made about 50,000 of those and in 1951 they changed the design to this, to the model B and they made about 190,000 of those until 1970. Let me turn it over there we go. On the bottom is this label that just says the serial number and a whole load of patent numbers and not much else. That uh, knob there that, sh that should have a, a rubber foot but that has long since disintegrated. And uh, yeah it's a very simple adding machine. It has a, a keyboard a bit like uh, a comptometer keyboard but only half size. It ha uses the convention that uh, the odd numbers have uh, uh, are hollowed out, have dimples in them, and the keys for the even numbers are flat. This is to help with touch typing. The button on the left here is the uh, clearing button, and if you push that down, the registers uh, digits all move up to nine, and then when you let it go, one gets added so that it overflows to zero. Adding on this machine is very easy, you just type in the number that you want to add. Say 123, just type in all those three numbers, three digits. As you can see, the keyboard is a bit weird. When you press a digit, all the other keys in that column move as well. The keys are on, on levers a bit like a fan, and that fan closes when you push the key. Uh, to enter a higher number, like uh, 8, you'll have to use two uh, keys, um, or two presses. So to, to, press, to, to add 8 you have to press the 4 twice, to add 9 you have to do 4 and 5, and so on. As you can see the uh, register uh, carries over normally, so when you release the key at the end the carry gets executed. This is a very cheap machine um, that, uh, that shows in the fact that there are not many safety features on this, uh, this machine. If you press a key only part way and release it, it will add part of the number. So you have to be sure to press the keys all the way to the bottom because otherwise it will give you the wrong result. Another uh, lack of safety is that the uh, carry mechanism uh, can fail, especially, uh, especially if you don't press all the keys at the same time. For example, if I uh, press the, first, the, the right hand key first and let it go while I press the second key, you'll see that the carry hasn't happened. Because the carry can only execute if, the, if that, the digit it carries to isn't moving. So that's, uh, that's why you have to press all the buttons at the same time so that when you and then release them at the same time so that the carry doesn't happen while you're still pressing down buttons. So yeah, th this is the uh, Context Model B. Thank you for watching.